The Revelation of St. John the Divine, Chapter 4 First one. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Verse 2 And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one that on the throne, but three, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a satin stone. And there was the rain brought about the throne, inside like at an emerald. Verse 4 And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Verse 5 And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Verse 6 And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne, and round about the throne, were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Verse 7 And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf. And the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. Verse 8 And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Verse 9 And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him, that sat on the throne, who lives forever and ever. Verse 10 The four and twenty elders fall before him that sat on the throne, and worship him that lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Verse 11, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. End of chapter 4